So today we are going to do a Revolution Beauty I Heart Revolution haul. Um, this is mostly going to be centered on the new mini chocolate palettes because I am super excited about those and I picked all of them up. I will also compare them to the regular size chocolate palettes that are like their partners so you'll be able to see if you need the minis or not. Uh, so we're just going to jump in but before we jump in please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We have new videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday here on my channel. Um, please give this video a thumbs up if you like Revolution Beauty videos. You guys know that I make a lot of those. They're one of my favorite brands. I hope you're into it. Let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to talk about is this palette. This is the Celebration palette. This was free with my order because they hit a million on Instagram. Bummer is it came broken. Funny thing is I have received in my years of ordering for Makeup Revolution only three items that have ever been broken. They travel all the way from the UK. So it's actually kind of shocking that there's only been three and out of the three, two of them have been free items. This was a free item. It came broken. I can fix that one shade. So it's kind of hard to show you the palette. I can swatch a couple real quick for you, but there's the brown all over it. So it's hard to like really swatch it, but you can see how beautiful that shade is. I definitely need to clean it up because they're all busted, but these feel super creamy and buttery. So I'm into it. I'm into it. I think it's a good quality palette. It's a solid palette for a free one. Sorry that the swatches kind of suck, but there's like literally bits of that dark shadow all over it. And it was free. So it's okay that it was broken. I picked up two of these guys. These are so cute. These are modeled after those pens. I don't know. I had those pens for sure when I was younger that they have all different colors. This one is a multi-liner nude. So this is for retractable lip liners. And then this one it has one lip liner and three retractable like eyeliners. So we will swatch these really quick. Um, I am wearing one of the lip liners on my lip today. Obviously I have a lipstick on over it, but I definitely approve. They're a little bit dry. I don't mean that in a bad way. They're just, they're a drier formula. So I feel like they are gonna last longer. So all you do is you just like pick whichever one. I'll show you guys. So you just pick it, you just put it down. What are words? Um, and then there's little arrows. You can see which way to turn it and you turn it and it pops up. So I think this one is the lip liner. I'm not going to do huge swatches, but that's the lip liner. To switch it, you just pop the next one. And this is going to be the nude liner. I would use mostly for my waterline. You could use it as lip liner. It's really hard to see because it's so fair, but it's good. And then there's a black eyeliner, which that's pretty smooth. I just went boop, boop. You can see the lines on that the black liner, and then let's swatch this brown liner. And once you click it up, it kind of stays clicked up. Like you can see that that one, I didn't turn it and it already was clicked up from the last time I filmed this video. We've been having all sorts of sound issues here on my channel, so please let me know how you feel about sound right now. Yeah, I think this is really cool. So that's all of those in this one. There's also a Brights one. I didn't pick up the Brights one yet, but now I definitely want it. I feel like this is so cute, so cool. I can't remember if it was seven or nine US dollars, plus this packaging just pleases me. That hot pink just pleases me. I'm super pumped on this lip one. I love nude lips more than anything. I love nude liners. Um, I was really stoked on, I think I used this shade right here. Sorry that my hands are so dry, but it's kind of like a rosy, that bottom one. So that's one of them. That one is a little darker. Ooh, that's pretty. I really like that last one. It's the bottom one. So that's what they all look like. So I'm pumped about this. I think it's cool. I think it's cool. I'm stoked. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think this is a cool idea? And it's functional and it's multiple liners in one. And I just feel like that's so great. Like, cause this one, you have your brown liner, your black liner, your nude liner and a lip liner. Like this will be amazing for travel. I feel like this is just so good. So I definitely want to try that brights one next. Let's talk about this baby. Um, this baby, uh, they can't stop putting out those chocolate palettes. I will still do that chocolate palette video where I do a roundup. Every time I'm a, literally about to film it, I had all my chocolate palettes and then all of a sudden this dropped. So I was like, I have to wait till that one gets here, especially because I wanted to be able to show you the new layout of the, of the chocolate palettes. So I don't know if this is going to be available at Ulta. When they are at Ulta, they do release them under the Makeup Revolution or Revolution name, not the I Heart Revolution, um, like they do in the UK. So this is what it looks like. I always love the packaging. It's so cute. Um, the new layout is different. They have gotten rid of the sponge tip applicator. There is a mirror per usual and they put the shade names on the actual packaging. Look at this. So it actually has the shade names on there. 
I love it. I love it. I feel like this palette is beautiful. This is going to be a great neutral palette for everyone. Um, it just has so many options. It's, it's pretty warm. So if you're not really a warm person, you probably not. There are a couple cool tones in here, but for the most part, it is a warm palette with a nice like peachy shade, a nice berry, a nice kind of burnt orange. Like this is this palette. I like it. I like it. Um, if you guys want a tutorial on this palette, let me know. Let's swatch a few of them. But I really like this new layout. Given I love SpongeBob applicators, so I was all about it. Wow, those are high quality swatches there, Shannon. Good job. Look at that, you guys. I like that this is called All Natural. All Natural, but it's like, that one's a little powdery, but you never know. I feel like sometimes shades, especially matte ones, they swatch terribly, but look beautiful on the eye. Sometimes they swatch beautifully and look terrible on the eye. So just like how it's easier to swatch a shimmer shade, um, there is a matte highlight, which I am pumped at. You're not gonna be able to really see that, but it's there. Some of these are really light because it is a nudes palette. Um, I think that's a good variety of shades you can see in there. I think I'm gonna love this palette. So this is super cute. I'm a fan of this. With this, we're gonna go right into those mini chocolate palettes. They released four little babies. Um, I will tell you right now that they are different than their, I mean, they're similar in tone to their larger to their sister palettes, but they're not the same. But this is a mini nudes of that one I just showed you. So I'm leaving that one out so we can compare them. The packaging is so cute. Like it's so, it's so cute. Look at it. It's a baby chocolate palette. You can see the size difference right there. Um, it's much smaller. So this is the layout. You can see there's a big mirror um, and it comes with eight shades. So we are going to swatch this real quick. The tones are like you can tell they're related like if you like this palette you're gonna like the mini if you like the mini you're probably gonna like the big one but the shades are different i did go through and like check them out and make sure and i don't think there's a single dupe in any of them um there's definitely similar ones like the brown shades are about as close as you're gonna get but i don't think they're exactly the same so they did make them with that in mind that if you have the regular size chocolate palette you probably are gonna want this one too this one just speaks to me this one right here I know you're shocked. Um, it does feel pretty PC, but I think if you use it wet or with a really sticky base, you're gonna be golden and it's gonna be beautiful because it's got a bunch of glitter in it. Can you see it? Oh, it's so pretty. So that was a really terrible thumb swatch down there at the bottom, but this is swatches of all the shades. Again, um, matte shades don't always swatch the best, but they're definitely pigmented. I'm really excited to use that shimmery shade on my lid. It just looks so so pretty. Next, we're gonna look at the mini chocolate orange palette. I like chocolate orange, like in general. Do you like chocolate orange? Let me know down below, am I weird? I think this one ended up being my least favorite the last time I swatched it, but let me show you the original one. This one does smell like orange, by the way. So here's the OG full size one, maybe like that. Hopefully that helps. Okay, so there's the difference. You can see it's definitely similar, but Again, maybe the brown is the same in both palettes and the orange is similar. But let's watch the little mini guy. Let's watch the mini. This is a very golden yellow shade. It's got a red, few oranges. There's a lot of orange in this. I just, I feel like this one's like leaving me just a little underwhelmed. Here are the swatches. They're okay, like it's, it's pretty pigmented, but they're not like the absolute best I've ever seen, especially from Revolution. They have some really great shadows and this one is mostly matte, so maybe that's just all it is, is it's not swatching the best. Um, but again, that packaging is adorable. And if you are really into orange right now, which a lot of us are, this will probably be a really great palette for you. I don't think any of these have a matte brow bone shade, given you can use your face powder if you want to, but like, None of them have a matte brow bone shade. Like I would like to see all of them having like a deep shade and a matte highlight shade. Then I would be super stoked on all of them. All right, here is the full size mint chocolate palette. Um, let's open this little baby mint one. I really like the ombre. It reminds me of like s'mores, like minty s'mores. This one has the broken one. So this one came with one broken shadow. Um, and of course it's like the most beautiful one ever. Look at that. This palette's beautiful. I really like this one. I think that shade's really beautiful. I was able to really just like push it back in the pan and I think it's pretty much gonna stay. So that's exciting. Um, I feel like it's really like kind of soft in a good way. So it's not exactly the same again. Even that teal is different. It's different. Like it is similar to the shades in this palette, but like I feel like it, again, if you like this palette, if you like this palette, you're gonna like this little one. I feel like the pigmentation on this one is a little better than the orange one. 
this green one that's like turquoise is or teal is not swatching beautiful but you never know again like I feel like that's a matte shade it's pretty dry um, and powdery but I feel like it might actually translate well in the eye it's hard to know Ooh, because that, that orange one swatches really nicely and then I have one left which is the big one down there that's kind of a beigey gold so there are all the swatches um, more more pigmented than the orange one but I don't think that it's I'm not like intensely impressed I do love that glittery one it's pretty it's pretty it's pretty I feel like I'm being extra critical today so next we're gonna look at the mini rose gold palette versus the full-size rose gold palette look how pretty this is I feel like they took the rose part of it and like ran with it so the rose gold palette is the one that's a dupe of the Huda Beauty rose gold palette so this is what this looks like you definitely kind of see the shades and what I love is like even though there are some similar shades it's definitely different I'm sorry for blinding you again it's really I don't have enough hands but I think this mini I think this mini is my favorite I really do enjoy this palette I've used it before I don't think I ever filmed that rose gold dupe video but even though it's missing a matte highlight it still pleases me look at that baby pukey shade you guys know I live for shades like that I love like a mustard yellow on my eye I just do so I'm gonna swatch this one for you on this finger look at that duochrome flip it's just so pretty I th believe it's different from the flip in the actual rose gold palette so this is what it looks like I just like it I know it's that pop of mustardy brown seems a little weird in this palette but I like it. I like it um again it's very mid-tone so this kind of doesn't fit with my critiques of the other one there is that deeper red and kind of this maroon shade so I do feel like you can get a pretty good look out of this palette but there is not a matte brow bone shade or a super pale highlight shade so that being said you will have to use another palette or other things with this but it's beautiful I really this one just I just like it it's different um different but the same I know there are a lot of mauvey shadows out there and a lot of pinky palettes but I just I like it I like it I like it I don't know this one just I like it all right, love, so that is everything that I picked up from Revolution Beauty. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Share it if you could, because it does help me out so, so much. Please hit that subscribe button and let me know if you like Revolution videos, what kind of Revolution videos you want to see next. Let me know. I want to know all the things, because again, we have new videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday here on my channel. So I'm trying to create as much content for you as I possibly can. So again, let me know what you guys want to see. Thumbs up for more revolution. You guys know the drill. I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. That sound also pleases me. So weird. It feels weird with like that that pop of mustardy. I don't know, because I know there's a lot of mauvey shadow. And hit that subscribe. <laughs> what? Um, 